Hey guys, it's Joey. So I'm going to do a uh, a talky video about basic shielding, and I've had two people um, mention it within two days of, of of basic shielding methods and techniques. In fact, it might be more than two. And I thought I would just make a really simple, basic shield idea. Basically, how you can shield yourself, your aura from negative energies of things affecting you really, really deeply and how to protect yourself, particularly as a second, well, in fact, both people are quite empathic. So they sort of have the feelings and emotions of other people sort of pressed onto them. It's sort of like energy invasion. And we have to be careful with energy thieves, as I know all about. I've come into contact with them, you know, creative energy thieves, physical energy thieves, verbal energy thieves, you know, there are tons of them. So basic shielding methods. I'm going to give you one really easy um, physical thing you can do in most situations. And then we're going to talk a little bit about energy shielding. So the basic thing you can do in physical realms is use mirrors. Right? So I showed on one video recently those little mosaic tiles and you can just get them and place them facing out in like windows. You could carry one around in your bag with you. You could set up a candle with them facing outwards, that sort of thing, just for a protection sort of candle with those mirrors facing outwards. And just basically the idea is literally reflect back whatever is being done, whatever is being sent. So rather than it coming into your energy field, it goes back out again. Now. I keep this mirror by my computer, facing my computer, because there are of course people who use the internet, they troll your videos, they troll your Facebook, they put pictures up on things that upset you, and basically this is literally reflecting that all back from the computer. Sometimes people forget that sort of thing. That's something I believe in very strongly is to have this, this is always here, to reflect back nonsense. and. The other thing you can, if you can do, I realise this is very difficult, but if you can basically laugh, make fun of the people and find a way to laugh at them, you're taking all the power away, all the power away that negative energy suckers will try and get from you. So these are two sort of physical things that you can do to help with shielding on a very physical level. There are many, many more. You can create herbal sachets for protection. You can create amulets for protection. You can wear a rune around your neck. You can I draw a rune on my wrist in blue eyeliner. There are lots and lots of different things you can do. Um, if anybody wants any more information on any one of those specifically, just say down there and I will do it for you. But I wanted to keep this as sort of a general basic shielding guide and mostly in the energy realm because the other things that I've just mentioned, you need bits to do that. Whereas this is literally mirrors, which most people have access to, at least a mirror of some description. And then energy techniques, which you can do. So with shielding, um, a very important part of shielding is knowing when you feel that you should need to ground first and foremost. And grounding is basically the process of reconnecting yourself to earth, earth energy to stabilize yourself, literally ground yourself to get rid of unwanted energies, to sort of anchor yourself so you are ready to shield yourself. So as long as you, if you consider yourself to be a tree with your roots firmly in the ground, then nobody's going to be able to topple you over, if that makes sense. And using the tree analogy is a good way of grounding. One of the simplest and earliest techniques I was ever taught is to basically have your feet on the floor and visualize that you have the roots coming from your feet. And this, they, you know, it's just a natural part of you as if you were a tree and your roots grow down into the, into the earth and you feel grounded and heavier and stable and connected to the earth. And perhaps you pull green energy into yourself and push any excess or any negativity down the roots and it becomes transformed as it goes through the roots into positive energy again. I will possibly, I've been asked to record a few more guided meditations so I may well do a guided meditation on getting rid of your own negativity which I use, excuse me, oh. and 
you know, you can do all sorts of things to ground yourself. You could carry um, grounding stones for you. Hematite is the bee's knees for grounding as far as I'm concerned. Um, hematite is just literally one of those stones that makes you feel connected to earth and grounded within yourself. And if you don't have a hematite, another great thing is any fossil. Fossils are like the mofo, <laughs> the mofo of grounding things. They ground me like nothing on earth. When I've been in the most stressful times of my life and I've had a fossil, it has helped me to ground. And literally it's because they are, you know, the age of them, the pressure they've undergone to be formed, they've survived all that, they're hardy, they come from deep within the earth, they're ancient, very grounding. So those are just some ideas, you know, and but you know, visualize yourself being grounded and in whatever way you most feel comfortable. Roots, or perhaps you can visualize yourself being actually sat with your back against a tree. Or if you want a, a very real life experience, go sit with a tree, go connect with a tree. It can be a really simple and grounding experience just to put your back up against a tree. And if you can see any roots, then just pop your feet on them or just put your feet on the ground and just try and connect to the tree and try and help feel a part of nature that way. Sometimes going for a walk in nature can have the same positive effect, but you know, trees are really good for, for grounding for feeling connected to earth. So that being said, grounding is sort of the first step. You know, you need to be hooked into feeling steady because if you try and shield yourself while you're feeling off balance, you're not going to be able to maintain it so easily. And there are a number of different ways in which I have been taught over the years about how to shield myself. Some are literally shielding and then some are sort of not hiding techniques but sort of taking yourself away from their radar so they can't reach you and so the shielding techniques that are simplest I think um, you can mirrors again in the visual realm okay so you can either imagine yourself being surrounded by mirrors and whichever shape you best think would work for you is the one you go for. I've known people who literally surround themselves in a box with mirrors facing outwards. I've known people who um, visualize themselves inside a pyramid with the mirrors facing outwards. I've known people who do themselves in sort of a crystal dome shell mirrors facing outwards and the idea is that you just visualize any negativity coming and bouncing straight back off and you have to believe it and know that you can do it. So you might want to practice some visualization techniques first. Close your eyes, try and be safe, visualize something in front of you and then visualize a mirror in front of you and then visualize the mirror turning around and facing outwards and just know and trust in your own things. You might want to do this regularly. You might want to make sure you are cleansed before you do this. Have a cleansing bath, a salt bath or go through the shower. Cleanse yourself out or use a smudge stick. Smudge your space on all of that. So ha have that basis before you start visualizing perhaps. Another thing that I have been um, taught to do is visualize your aura as being elastic. Like, so you visualize your sort of aura around yourself and it basically, bing, and it's basically like rubber. And that way anything just bounces off you. That's something I actually talked to my friend about and it, it helps her a great deal. She's remembered that one over the years. You might want to visualize yourself in a blue, I always say blue, a blue bubble. That's a new help. Just sort of imagine it starting to be quite close to you and then just push it out into being a blue bubble. Another thing that I do is I visualize psychic armor. That's a little bit more in depth visualizing because you have to basically visualize all the armor coming up and just, and you know, even talk to yourself if it helps, you know, I would like my armour to be green and I want to, it to have little markings on and I want little bolts on the underside and I want leather straps here and you, by talking to yourself you start to think about it and by thinking about it you start to visualise it and visualising it you're starting to put it into the spiritual manifestation of itself. Yes, 
so shielding I think those are the basic techniques that I use there are of course then mundane things that you can do and I you know if you people are sharing stuff that is upsetting you like on Facebook this is one of the things I mentioned just block those sites from being able to thing you know remove it straight away don't read them don't engage with it just reflect it and don't allow it into your soul that's the main thing and that's the thing with all basic shielding is that you can't allow these things into your soul and it's just practice with these techniques I think they're all fairly basic techniques if anyone wants any more information about any specific one let me know I'll see what I can do but I just wanted to make a quick basic shielding video for those people just on a very base it is very basic this on a very basic level any further suggestions of course are welcome down below if they, they may or may not help people feel free <laughs> many blessings